Beware of the fading endpoint when performing a calcium hardness test. A fading point is the most common error on a calcium hardness test. Instead of obtaining a well-defined, permanent endpoint, some color change is observed, but soon the sample reverts to the original color. This fading point is due to interferences from metal ions, most likely copper or iron. Copper can enter the water from pipes, source water, or overuse of copper-based algicides. Iron can be present in source water. To prevent these interferences in a calcium hardness test, add additional reagent 12 at the beginning of the test. Rinse and fill the large comparator tube to the 25 ml mark with the water to be tested. Add 5 or 6 drops of reagent 12 to the sample before adding the buffer and indicator. Record the number of drops used. Swirl to mix. Add 20 drops of reagent 10. Swirl to mix. Add 5 drops of reagent 11L. Swirl to mix. If calcium hardness is present, the sample will turn red. Add reagent 12 dropwise. After each drop, count and swirl to mix until the color changes from red to blue. Add the number of drops used in this step to the number of drops reagent 12 used at the beginning of the test. Then multiply the result by 10. Record the result as parts per million calcium carbonate. Taylor's knowledgeable customer service representatives are available to provide technical assistance about our products. Call 800-TEST-KIT 